Welcome to Survival Russia. This is the special camping operation. And this is how we take uh, wood in the forest. <laughs> Hello guys, we're gonna get out of the on the trail now. We're gonna go on the annual spring camping trip. It's really really cold today. For the season anyway. We're gonna take the tank, the tank is ready. We change out the wheel there and so on. We're gonna fire it up soon and uh, get out of here. There we have Danny, Slava, the engineer. Yeah, you go, you all know these guys. That's why Hi. Siberia. That's why Siberia's girlfriend, senior. <laughs> They're from Siberia. And uh, he's a uh, Mexican American who ended Siberia. up in Siberia for some weird reason. And that's the boss. My boss? <laughs> no comments. <laughs> Guys, so we're on the road as you can see. Still a little bit cool, but the sun is looking out sometimes and so on. And as usual, there's not really any terrain here which can uh, do much to this vehicle here. But uh, the only vehicle we have which can transport a lot of gear and a lot of people, right? So uh, let's go for the special camping operation with Wild Siberia. Alright guys, so some of you guys know this already, but uh, this is how we collect firewood for a few days when we are camping uh, with a tank on APC or what we can call it. So we have a trunk there, we have this guy there. I'll show how it works, but uh, now we're gonna cut some wood and uh, get on with it and get to the camp. It's just a few hundred meters down there. Welcome to Survival Russia. This is the special camping operation. And this is how we take uh, wood in the forest. <laughs> that was awesome. Is this helmet? Hammer. Oh. Helmet. <laughs> Your accent. Oh, so it's down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's go in the middle. 
Всем привет! Здравствуйте! Как да, здравствуйте. здравствуйте! О! Здравствуйте. У нас уже здесь есть стол! Let's go and check up on the, on the sergeant down there, on Danny. Because we landed, as you can see. And Danny just grabbed his fishing rod and just ran down here and abandoned all of us. <coughs> Yeah, oh, you've not been fishing for seven months. I just want to know what it feels like to cast again, guys. Uh, I'm so excited. I've never fished in an actual river, so I'm so thankful for Lars for bringing us out here. <laughs> I get to just cast and enjoy maybe an hour of this. You had anything? Uh, no bites yet. No bites yet? There yeah. should be. I mean, normally when we're here uh -huh. in the spring, we sometimes catch some fish out there and... Uh, and make a fish soup, the Russian, uh, what's it called, ucha. It's almost seven o'clock. Everything is pretty awesome. You can see we put up kind of a cooking rack there. One side is a little bit taller than the other, but that's just how it goes sometimes. But it works very well. We can uh, cook food, I'm, uh, I'm cooking there, making some soup, we can make water for tea on the other side. And uh, here we have the river, everything is really quiet. It's very quiet now actually, earlier we had a lot more current, it's weird. But uh, yeah, as usually, I'm doing a lot of stuff. Danny is helping out a lot. It's always awesome to be with Danny because, uh, yeah, he kind of knows what to do <laughs> and when to do it. All right, guys, so we're on day two. It's a little bit of during the day here and we're gathering around the campfire. Everything is awesome. The guys have been sleeping there. I've been sleeping there with the kids in order to keep the stove running, not all night of course. Here we have this awesome tent here. And we have a guy. It's the only guy who's not up and running, but he was also the guy who was the absolute most drunk yesterday. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go and pick up some firewood. We we just harvested. Make it through here. Hey, my seat is running back and forth. What the hell is going on?
turn the lights now. Then he said I would never make it through the forest over here, or through the trees. Basically, me and Danny, we caught a three over there, dead standing. It got caught up there because I didn't call, I didn't call it right. Uh, so we got the tank out and pulled it, and pulled it clear. <laughs> it dragged. It didn't want to fall and it dragged. Yeah. Stubborn. So here we definitely have enough firewood for the rest of the trip. Like a, uh, this is just dry and awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> this country is awesome. <laughs> ben is making fun of my English accent or my Danish accent, actually. <clears throat> of course. Let's go. Or oh, we'll have to pull it back. With the tank once again. <laughs> oh, what was that? Yeah, I see it. gonna not hit those small trees. And that's it. Sorry, I'm eating. But Danny just came and asked if there's venomous snakes in Russia. I said, oh yeah. Are they black? Yeah. They'll send you to a hospital for 10 days. The sheep is still there. First of all, the first one do that. See that black thing? Oh, yeah, it's down there. Yeah, oh. yeah there's some gajuka. This is not our camp. Just take it on the way. Look, this is our Russian camp. This is a, this is a place. Oh, yeah. It's a gadjuka. Gadjuka. A pass man. And now, he says it's dangerous. It feels us already from vibrations in the ground, of course. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. And it's water. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big. Oh, big gadjuka. That's like a... It has like a diamond. Ah, curata, curata. You will not get it now. <laughs> but the water is too cold for it. I peed right here, and it was right there. <laughs> I was peeing, and I said, what the Why? heck? <laughs> I thought it was a piece of poop, like bear crap. <laughs> Those are poisonous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten days, and this is near hot hospital. I think we should, uh, then when we're done here. Pick this up? Yeah, let's pick this up and burn it. We always yeah, clean up. For sure. Now we're gonna go a little trip with Wild Siberia and his girlfriend out to a village out here, like five, six kilometers on the logging trail, not that far. But uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, find and uh, what I have referred to for a long time as a house of horrors. I, I don't know what's, what's been going on there, it's an old deserted village, but there's some really funky stuff going on, or been going on out there, I think, in one of the houses. So let's go and see if we can find it. Let's hit the road. In the SRV. I don't know, man. I have 
to check. Ah, we should be able to make it here. Better to check. Because these roads here can be tricky. Oh, we should be alright. Just need to try and scout out the road here a little bit. Very difficult section. Very difficult section. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very soft. Like I can see we had some 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 vehicles going here. This RV is light. And it seems like they've been driving a letter Neva here or something. Yeah, we'll try it. I got stopped there once in the SRV. Had to go back to the camp, get the tank, and uh, pull myself out. That was not awesome. It's just important we don't get out there. That is a really bad place to be. You see, there's been a guy with the low pressure tires in there. So we're gonna leave the car here, go on a little expedition, find the house of horrors. Possibly I'm gonna be interested in listening to what Danny and Senia says about that place. <laughs> but as I said, we don't need to push our luck here any further. We'll just leave our car with the keys and everything. I never remove the keys from this car ever. <laughs> because here we have the law of the tiger. You don't screw with anybody's vehicles and you don't screw with anybody's campsite. I think this was the, what I was referring to as the house or building of horror. Let's see if it still is in, in the condition when we were here like a year ago. But this is freaking weird. Alright guys, so we're gonna stop the video here. We're gonna continue in the second episode of course. But uh, I would like to time the, the upload with Danny from Wild Siberia. Because he also of course has quite a, a video from this uh, location. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what's in the house of horrors. And I want to like to hear your opinion and so on. But until then, you can please uh, check the link in the description. And uh, consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. You can do that via channel membership. I would appreciate that. Of course, and uh, we have subscribe star as well that you can uh, check out in the description and probably in a pinned comment or something like that. And yeah, tank camping trips in the spring, I always have a lot of stuff to do and uh, this time was no exception, so uh, it is what it is. Until next time guys, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome and uh, see you in the next video guys. Thank you very much for your time.